Vermont farms and Vermont dairy cows make some of the best milk in the world. But did any of us ever know that these same cows can produce fuel, fuel jet fuel, home heating fuel, uh, biodiesel? The same cows are giving us milk can eventually, through their byproducts, give us uh, algae-driven, algae-created uh, oil. Uh, my job the last five years and at USDA has is, is been to look at uh, building an efficient, renewable, and bio-based economy. Uh, with this project here, I think we, we certainly see uh, the best of Vermont uh, being able to take brewery waste, uh, dairy waste, and uh, produce uh, additional industry uh, in rural Vermont. So here is the naturally occurring, um, how the algae looks like, all green and um, based off sunlight and light, any source of light and uh, CO2 and nutrients. Um, first two flasks, they look like how the manure and brewer uh, based algae would look like. Um, the other two flasks are the naturally growing algae under stress conditions. So this is commercially available algae. Um, here is how the manure grown algae looks like. Excuse me. So that's how the manure grown algae, harvested algae looks like. And uh, in those three flasks we have um, commercially available fertilizer. One is granular fertilizer. Once this is powdered and uh, run through the granulating machine, that's how it, the granular algae would look like. It's not fossil carbon, new carbon that's being released. And in fact, the process, yeah, the process has the ability to, to pull as much carbon. So as it's, it's a tighter cycle, and absolutely 70, 80 percent less greenhouse gas emissions than conventional.